Less than a week after I posted a video titled How to Stop Prison Radicalization, a jihadi named Sharif Shakat, who had been radicalized in prison, shouted Allahu Akbar as he opened fire at a Christmas market in Strasbourg, France. The BBC, which apparently stands for Big, Big Cowards, reports. The Strasbourg gunman yelled Allahu Akbar, God is greatest, in Arabic, as he opened fire on people at a Christmas market, France's anti-terror prosecutor has told reporters. Remy Heights said two people were killed and one left brain dead in Tuesday's attack in the eastern French city. Twelve were wounded, six seriously. The main suspect, named by local media as Sharif Shakat, is known to authorities as someone who was radicalized in prison. The 29-year-old was armed with a gun and a knife and escaped the area in a taxi, Mr. Heights said. Not surprisingly, Muslim activists are outraged, not as much by the slaughtering of infidels as by media platforms informing their readers that this was yet another Islamic terrorist attack. Mikdad Versi, spokesman for the Muslim Council of Britain, tweeted, Disappointing to see BBC and Sky News lead with Allahu Akbar in their headline on the awful shooting in Strasbourg versus ITV and Al Jazeera, who are being far more responsible. This matters, and it's wrong. So, the Muslim Council of Britain condemns the BBC and Sky News for including Allahu Akbar in their headlines, but praises ITV and Al Jazeera for leaving Allahu Akbar out of their headlines. How should the media report a terrorist attack according to the Muslim Council of Britain? Let's look at the Council-approved headlines. From Al Jazeera, we have Strasbourg shooting, French police hunt for gunmen. Who shot people? A gunman. ITV's headline reads, Manhunt after at least two killed in Strasbourg Christmas market shooting. Who killed someone here? A man, maybe, since there's a manhunt. Other than that, the headline tells us absolutely nothing about the shooter. These kinds of headlines following an Islamic terrorist attack by a jihadi screaming Allahu Akbar will earn you the praise of Muslim organizations. What kinds of headlines will earn you the scorn and contempt of Muslim organizations? The BBC initially titled its article, French gunman shouted Allahu Akbar as he attacked. Sky News originally used the headline, Strasbourg Christmas market terror attacker shouted Allahu Akbar. Notice, reading these headlines instantly lets us know some very important facts about the shooter. He was a Muslim, he was doing this in the name of Allah, he likely targeted a Christmas market because of its association with Christianity, and so on. The Muslim Council of Britain knows that most people only read the headlines, not the full articles, so their spokesman doesn't want this relevant information included in the headlines. He therefore applies a low-level form of behavior control. Shower praise on people who do what you want, heap abuse on people who don't do what you want. If the people you're praising and condemning are pathetic enough, you can control their future behavior. Versi went on to apply even more pressure by linking the BBC and Sky News to American counter-jihadist Robert Spencer. After condemning the BBC and Sky News for including Allahu Akbar in their headlines, Versi tweets, Worth noting that one of the most prolific anti-Muslim figures in the United States, who was banned from coming to the UK, Robert Spencer, seems to have used similar wording in his headline. I wonder why. And we see from Versi's screenshot that Robert, in a fashion eerily parallel to that of the BBC and Sky News, titled his article, France, Strasbourg Jihadi Screamed Allahu Akbar. Interior Minister Still Unsure He Had Terrorist Motivations. Notice the logic here. Robert Spencer criticizes Islamic terrorism, therefore he is anti-Muslim. Robert Spencer includes the Allahu Akbar detail in his headline. The BBC and Sky News also include Allahu Akbar in their headlines. Hence, the BBC and Sky News are also anti-Muslim. You'll find similar logic employed by pro-Islam activists after every terrorist attack. 
Why do so many activists use this kind of reasoning, or should I say, anti-reasoning? They use it because it works. They understand that reporters are weak-minded, easily manipulated cowards who can be pushed around at will. If you'd like proof, after Versi's tweets condemning the BBC and Sky News for including Allahu Akbar in their headlines and lumping these organizations together with Robert Spencer, the BBC changed its headline from French gunmen shouted Allahu Akbar as he attacked to Strasbourg shooting, police appeal to find Sharif Shakat. Sky News changed its headline from Strasbourg Christmas market terror attacker shouted Allahu Akbar to French police release image of Christmas market attack suspect. As you can see, the Muslim Council of Britain has the British media on a very short leash. So, a jihadi in France, as part of an ongoing attempt to force the West to submit to Islam, opens fire at a crowded Christmas market. His co-religionists in Great Britain, as part of an ongoing attempt to force the West to submit to Islam, tell British journalists how they're allowed, and how they're not allowed, to report the news. And British journalists submit, like they always do. I'm sure that when they saw how the BBC and Sky News yet again bowed before the authority of an illiterate 7th century caravan trader, the Muslim Council of Britain began shouting, Allahu Akbar. Behind closed doors, of course. And British journalists are still confused about why British newspapers are the least trusted newspapers in Europe. One of life's great mysteries.